The Indian Occupational Forces have been systematically using aggression force in Indian occupied Kashmir since it occupied Kashmir in 1947. The policy of Indian government is to repress and subjugate the civilian population in the occupied territory to break down the resistance against illegal occupation. However, it has miserably failed and will fail again and again. A week from April 10 remind us one of the devastating incidents which happened in Lal Chowk, heart of capital Sirinagar, where Indian occupational forces, including her paramilitary troopers, carried out arson and burned the whole area, which is Kashmir's main business hub. In this incident caused by Indian occupational forces, 125 innocent Kashmiris were killed, 59 houses, 190 shops, 53 godans, two office complexes, two schools and a shrines were completely destroyed. Many people tried to douse the flames so that inhabitants and properties would be saved. Some people rowed their boats, sailing from across the river Jehlam, which flows on the western side of Lal Chok. On the riverbank side, from where flames were blazing, Indian occupational forces opened fire on boats carrying rescuers with machine guns. The sailors, who were on way to rescue the victims of fire, jumped into the river to escape the firing by Indian military but they drowned. The gunfire continued for at least 30 minutes. 16 innocents were killed while in water. Indian occupational forces first caused the destruction and then also stopped any aid to help the victims. The brutal act constitutes grave breaches of Geneva Convention of 1949. Under this convention, they constitute as war crimes and warrant institution of criminal proceeding against the Indian military and Indian state. The actions by Indian military representing Indian state in Kashmir committed highest form of violation against international law and judicial norm. This day is just not one incident, but is an everyday story from Indian occupied Kashmir. India is punishing Kashmiris for seeking their alienable right to self-determination, to decide their political fate as promised by United Nations and its Security Council.